Revelations 11, verse 1 to 12. I was given a reed like a measuring rod, and I was told, Go and measure the temple of God and the altar with its worshippers, but exclude the outer court. Do not measure it, because it has been given to the Gentiles. They will tremble on the holy city for 42 months, and I will appoint my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for 1,260 days, clothed in sackcloth. They are the two olive trees, trees and the two lampstands, and they stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone tries to harm them, fire comes from their mouth and devours their, en their enemies. This is how anyone who wants to harm them must die. They have power to shut up the heavens so that it will not rain during the time they are prophesying. And they have power to turn the water into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they want. Now, when they finish their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will attack them and overpower and kill them. Their bodies will lie in the public square of the great city, which is figuratively called Sodom and Egypt, where also their Lord was crucified. For three and a half days, some from every people, tribe, language, nation, will gaze on their bodies and refuse them burial. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and will celebrate by sending each other gifts because these two prophets have tormented those who lived on earth. But after the three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them and they stood on their feet and terror struck those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up! And they went up to heaven in a cloud while their enemies looked on. Mbatla lazana na ledi kholwa mahube le sedi khalemela fela ri utwe tito se feto ga madi botho busule le fatsi leno la nyelela ri dutse go se selele fatsi le la garara o file marubile gore o tlatla go atlola ditiro tsa babuili diatla ba ba sena le sente o tla boa abafa believe him he who made the moon and the stars who gave his only son horasola under the sun Santa Fita, soon the battle was won. He wiped the whole world with a man and a flood. Jeba, waizi remone, naluena remone fana. Two witnesses mudi dili morunga batswana. The sight so frightening ka iti khawali bala. Soon utla mona, utla utla yabo felola pala. It's the two witnesses mudi dili morunga. Behold, as we announce the coming of Jehovah. Relale dizo pizo nyakata utona. How great the moment, the day, harem mona. It was maybe in uh, 97 or uh, 2006 when I was working towards my debut album and Jabba was, was producing the album and we had countless meetings about, about the album and what we really what we were trying to achieve. And in one of the sessions he said, you know Mojo Man, in life uh, don't worry much about what you want because what you want is relative. You can want this today, want that tomorrow, want him, want her. It, 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 it's irrelevant what you want. But what is really important is what you don't want. Know what you don't want in life. And I must say, uh, Jabulani would not want all the people, Baba Hisit and Mabana, our temple of art. Jabulani would not want all the people who are dumping rubbish, Modistrate, Mama Hikeng. Jawulani would not want the kind of people we have become as young people Mafiking who are doing nothing for our community. He Jabba himself got up about a few years back. I go DB Kutlangoskolon Saruna, Ahokonomaka di toilet. Of all the places, Akonomaka di toilet, Adi Tuba, Adi Bankan. I am mentioning these things because we are responsible as we stand here artists for the legacy of Jabulani Tambo. And his legacy must not be names on buildings or on street names or, or statues. His name must be the multiplicity. Because he said to me himself, Mojo Menoskawara, when I die, I will multiply. J. 
you built so many of us where Jesus walked on water or turned water into wine. You created superstars, multi-millionaires. And in death, you will multiply into many, many, many other things across the world. I have no words to say. I have not had a chance to cry for you since you passed away. But I know you are the turning point in our lives. Thank you to everybody who supported Jebba all through the years and stood by him. No.